Michael, are we making a big deal out of nothing? I mean, Chris Brockman's over here in the corner, and he's just ready to roast you because he's a Sox fan. But I'm just curious <laughs> about the judge of it all. Um, obviously, number one, when did you know something was brewing the other night? Absolutely uh, not at all during the game, Susie, because uh, if you remember, Boone got thrown out earlier in the at-bat. So we are actually uh, showing the shot from high center field. There's no way you're going to see eyes darting. We were not even on that radar. It wasn't on our radar. I don't know if, if the Toronto broadcast had been tipped off that maybe he looks down at the third, uh, the first base coach. Could be. Not sure. But they were zeroing in on his eyes. It looked like an eyes wide shut movie. Um, and it was weird. And I didn't find out about it until I got back to the hotel in Toronto. I was just scrolling through social media, and I, and I saw that it became a big thing. Now, I don't think it's a big thing at all because uh, let's say that the first base coach picked up a tell that the pitcher Jackson was giving on certain pitches. He has every right to try to relay that to Aaron Judge. And if, if Aaron Judge has the mental dexterity and mental acuity to, like, in the middle of an adapt right before the pitch is being delivered to check and just guard his eyes toward the first base coach, good on him. That's not cheating. As long as there's not electronics involved, that's good old gamesmanship, and they've been doing that for 130 years. So uh, I just think that Judge is kind of upset about it because he has a pristine reputation. He had 62 home runs. Nobody ever insinuated that anything was untoward last year. And to even have it out there that he might have done something wrong, I think bothers him because he didn't do anything wrong, and Major League Baseball said he didn't do anything wrong. I think that's exactly it. Isn't that part of the game? There's been so many people jumping on the bandwagon, Michael, and saying just trying to break this down, trying to accuse him of something where it seems to me that getting a sign is part of baseball. It's as old as baseball itself. And and if he can manipulate that ball, and it seems to me like he can hit anything anyway, I mean, I don't really understand actually what the big deal is. Well, I, I think – the thing that makes it laughable, let, let's say that the, the first base coach, Travis Chapman, found out location. Because I don't think you could pick up pitches anymore because of pitch com. So let's say he found out the location and Alejandro Kirk was setting up low and away, which he was. It was a hanging slider right over the plate. So knowing the location of that pitch didn't help judge at all. I think it became a big thing, Susie, because the ball was then hit 462 feet. So people were trying to put two and two together and make it five. Again, I, if, if you say I'm in your house every day, I'm not a Yankee homer. I try to call the games down the middle. He didn't do anything wrong. There's nothing wrong with stealing signs with your eyes and passing them along by giving signs with your hands or where you place your, um, your leg if, you, if your foot is uh, facing forward. That's been done forever. If anybody could prove that anything was gotten from electronic means, then that's cheating. I mean, there are clear rules about that. This, I think, was old-fashioned hardball. And, and oh, sorry, Chris. Chris Brockman's over here, and I see his like. I see the, like, the oh, look on your face. Want? I see the look on your face, Chris. Why hey, are you hey, Mike, why, why are you guys cheating so much? And then your Herman yesterday, like, what's going on in that dugout? I'm only kidding. Well, Herman, that's He's that's not. unfortunate. Obviously, he did something wrong. He had stuff that was so sticky. The umpire said that he'd never seen it before. This is a guy, Chris, that was, you know, pretty much targeted after the Minnesota game. Right. Um, where they looked at him twice and actually gave him a warning and didn't throw him out. So he has to know he's on the umpire's radar. And they just they just did a check when he was coming out of the dugout. And that's on him, man. That's on him. If, if he is not better at policing himself, then he deserves to get suspended. And he deserved to get thrown out. And he made that a very costly win for the Yankees because – it ended up getting Ian Hamilton hurt. They ended up using the entire bullpen, and it might impact how they do in the next couple of games. That that was not great for Domingo Herman. Also, back to Judge. Shout out to the director on Yes last night for getting as close as you possibly could get on Aaron Judge's eyes during his first at bat, and then he proceeded yeah, to hit it five hundred yards. There on that shot, it was incredible. It was what, great camera work, and then Judge proceeds I'll, I'll to spit on it five hundred feet. Yeah, it was, it was impressive. Well, the, the, the home run yesterday, I mean, to, I, that was a major flex by Judge. Yeah. If you notice, his eyes never left the pitcher. Right. This guy doesn't need any help. He and Shohei Otani, I believe, are the two best players in baseball. So I think that's what annoyed him the most is that, that any aspersions were cast. And I got to tell you guys something. There's another 
a narrative out there that the Blue Jay broadcasters did something wrong. They didn't do anything wrong. They had a shot where the MVP of the league, his eyes were darting away from the pitcher. Of course you're going to bring it up. And Judge is mad at them for some reason. I, and I guess I understand because it started this narrative about him. But Dan Schulman is one of the best in the in the world at what he does. I don't think they did anything wrong. They just showed what the camera you know, zeroed in on, and they talked about it. But they didn't say he's cheating. They just said, I wonder what he's looking at. Yeah, and that was uh, Rich's point yesterday when we were talking about it, is that you know suddenly this gets brought up, and now uh, uh, you, this cloud begins to kind of move in, not hang, but move in over Judge's record-breaking season last year, which is obviously unfair. Totally unfair, and, you know, this this guy's a good dude. Now, you know, one of the defenses I heard yesterday, he's such a great guy, he would never, ever do anything wrong. Now, I think he's a great guy, and I doubt he'd do something wrong, but that's not a defense that you could use in court because one of the best people I've ever met in all my years in sports is Andy Pettit, the best. If my son grows up to be like Andy Pettit, I'd be very happy, and he used PED. So being a good guy doesn't – mean that you didn't do anything wrong but i think in this case i take away the fact that judge is a great guy really really a a, a top flight human being he didn't do anything wrong he really didn't catch the rich eisen show every single day on the roku channel 12 to 3 eastern for free